Welcome to Technology and Livelihood Education. Modatag Curriculum. Information and Communication Technology for Grade 7. Our topic is Word Processing Software, How to Insert Mail Merge in Microsoft Word. The content standard for this lesson is to demonstrate an understanding of using productivity software. Performance standard, the learners perform the utilization of productivity tools in a safe and responsible manner. The learners shall be able to Create MS Word documents, with page breaks, auto tables of contents, mail merge, and references. <music> Situational analysis. It's your sister's seventh birthday, and your mother has asked you to mail and print invitation letters and envelopes for friends and family. How will you do that? Explain your answer. Mail Merge is a helpful tool that allows the user to produce multiple letters, name tags, labels, envelopes, and more using a stored list or database. Printing or sending out form letters to several recipients is the most common usage of Mail Merge. You may quickly alter form letters for specific recipients using Mail Merge. Use the following words in a sentence. 1. Merge, 2. Chevron, 3. Wizard, 4. Revert, 5. Drop-down list. <music> Definition of terms. Merge, refers to combining data into a document, Chevron, represents a style or design option, Wizard, refers to the guided process for performing tasks like mail merge, Revert, refers to returning to previous settings or options, drop-down list, a menu in which you can select options. Mail merge in Microsoft Word is a powerful tool that allows you to create multiple document, such as letters, labels, envelopes, or email, by combining a template with a data source. This feature is particularly useful for sending personalized correspondence to a large number of recipients without manually editing each document. How to insert mail merge. First, create a new and blank document. Then, click on the mailings tab, choose the start mail merge command, and select step-by-step -step mail merge wizard from the drop-down menu. Then, select your document type. For this instance, select Letters, then click Next, starting the document. Tick the Use the Current Document and then click Next, Select Recipients. Next is Select Recipients. Note that selecting Start from the existing document, which we are not doing in this demo, changes the view and gives you the option to choose your document. After you choose it, the Mail Merge Wizard reverts to use the current document. In this example, we will create a new list, click on type a new list, and then click create. Then, create a list by adding data in the new address list dialog box and clicking OK. This is how to insert mail merge recipients list.
Note that now that a list has been created, the mail merge wizard reverts to use an existing list and you have the option to edit the recipient list. If you want to edit the list, you can click on the edit recipient list and tick the checkbox to select or unselect records, then click OK. Next is to click Next Write, then write your letter. You can custom fields or simply click the address block to add the recipient's addresses at the top of the document. In the Insert Address Block dialog box, check or uncheck boxes and select options on the left until the address appears the way you want it to. Then press Enter. And click the greeting line. Click in the Insert Greeting Line dialog box. Choose the greeting line format by clicking the drop down arrow selecting the options of your choice and then clicking OK. Note that the address block and greeting line should be within the chevron symbols. Then write a short letter and click Next, preview your letters. Then, preview your letter and click Next, complete the merge. Click print to print your letters or edit individual letters to further personalize some or all the letters. This is how to insert the address block and greeting lines. And finally preview the documents. A time to remember. This is Mylene Huliganga. Thank you for watching.